Greetings one and all. Welcome back to my kitchen here today where I am going to be making Salisbury steak which is um, those of you in America will know is a bit of a, a traditional thing to make in America. You can look up the history and everything it's quite old. It originally came I think from a Dr. Salisbury who was an advocate for a, like a heavy meat diet from what I can see. But anyway Obviously you guys over in the USA know more about that than me. I'm just going to give it a crack because it looks tasty, it looks easy. What this channel's all about. Let's get on with it. So, now it's called steak, but we're actually going to be making steak patties. As in like, almost like hamburger patties. So to start with, to that end, I've got 500 grams of minced beef, as I call it. Or ground beef, if you want to call it that. I've got half a large onion, brown onion, that I've just um, chopped up, and it was quite big. I've got half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. There they go. Alright, a few flavourings. I've got a teaspoon of oregano leaves, dried. teaspoon of mustard powder half a teaspoon of garlic powder half a teaspoon of dried thyme leaves I'm going to add about a tablespoon of tomato paste which will be couple of these teaspoons, like so. And a tablespoon of my Worcestershire sauce. And I'm using Lee Perrins. But whatever you got on hand. Now usually to that I would add two eggs. But because my eggs are tiny, little tiny things, I'm going to add two. But like I say, just one sort of regular size egg. Be good. And of course, we're going to combine all that, those ingredients together. And I'll get on with that. And once I've got it thoroughly mixed up, I'm going to make four good sized um, patties from that and of course guys while you're um, mixing that up don't forget to give it a generous hit of salt black pepper what I nearly did forget yeah. alright I will get back to you shortly alrighty guys so I've mixed up that meat mixture with um that's flavorings and onion and egg and um, yeah I've just got a little bit of um, oil heating in my fry pan here and I'm just before I do anything I'm just gonna give these a fry off and get them cooked Alright guys, as you can see, I've just taken my patties off, cooked patties, I'm just going to put them aside. I'm going to drain a bit of this oil out of this pan. I'm going to leave all that 
whacked and sort of crunchy bits in there. That's going to go into our um, gravy. Alrighty guys, I've just dropped a, um, like I say, I've emptied most of that oil out. There's still a little bit in there. And I've just dropped a good sized knob of butter in there. I'm just going to let that um, melt. Now once that um, butter's melted there, like that, just going to give that a... You can see, don't be frightened of all these burnt bulk and black bits. They're all going to come up as we make our gravy and... Um, yeah, I want them in my um, in my gravy, that flavour anyway. So I'm going to add one onion. I've got 300 grams of sliced uh, sort of white buttoning mushrooms, and I've taken the uh, lazy cheats way out, and and I bought them like that. Now, I know this looks like a lot, but you know, you know mushrooms, they'll cook right down. I've just got a couple of tablespoons of fresh oregano leaves, or oregano leaves, as my American friends call them. I'm not being critical when I say that's what my American friends call them either, or it's, it's just true. <laughs> There's no right or wrong. We just call them different, different pronunciations for, for a few things, or different names for a few things. Who cares? It's a small world these days. Alrighty. Now, once those mushrooms have cooked down a fair bit, well, here, about a few minutes, maybe four or five. I'm going to throw another hunk of butter in, another big knob. Um, yeah, that's right, our Heart Smart diet starting next week, not today. And we'll just get that melting down a bit. And we'll also got here a tablespoon and a half of just plain flour. I'm just going to sprinkle over that. Stir that in all the time. We're bringing up those sort of little black bits off the bottom. Every time we give it a good stir. And we just want to cook that flour out a little bit. Now just while that flour is cooking out, I'm going to add to that another tablespoon of my Liam Perrins Worcestershire sauce. And I've got here a tablespoon of uh, tomato sauce, whatever you've got, brand, brand tomato sauce, the ketchup. Alrighty, now you might be thinking that doesn't look too appetizing, but what we're going to do now is I've got here 500 mils of good beef stock, and I'm just going to add a little bit of that at a time, or at least to start with a little bit, and again that's just going to help us those scrapings off the bottom. A little bit of salt. And I'm just going to add another little half teaspoon of my garlic powder. All 
Alrighty guys, so here we are. Yeah, quite a while later. Took a little while for that to um, cook down and thicken up, but it's getting, yeah, quite nice now. So of course, what we're gonna do is we're going to get our patties and just introduce them back into our brown gravy. Excuse fingers. I'm the only one eating these anyway, so <laughs> I can touch them all I want. And I'm just going to warm that back through. Basically, I'll give them one little. I'll let them go for about five minutes on that side. Then I'll flip them over, give them another five minutes, and we're done. Alrighty, now as you can see, I've just served up one of my um, Salisbury steaks. Forgive the, uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's sanding or drilling or something outside noise, can't do anything about it. Let's get on with it. I need to uh, eat this before it gets cold. Um, yeah, so obviously you could serve this with, um, you know, veggies, mashed potato, um, rice even, because you got all that beautiful, um, mushroom brown gravy to go with our um, our meat um, but yeah I just wanted to serve this up and have a taste quick now let's um, give it a try so it's probably you know there's not much to show you really it's just a, a bit of a mushroom gravy Whoop. See if you can see it. It's nice and glossy from that butter. And um, yeah, let's taste it. Mm -mm. Man, that might be a really old dish, but it um, stands the test of time. The uh, the risole, the patty is just yummy, but it's that gravy that makes it. It's just rich and glossy and um, wow, it's just still coating on my tongue and my throat and it's delicious, yum. Um, wow, very, very happy with that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone who's subscribed to my channel. Really, really appreciate it, especially some of you new subscribers. Actually got a, a recent one from uh, Africa, which was lovely. Thank you for that. And from all over the place, really. But yeah, that was nice to get one from so far away. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, can I just ask you to subscribe to my channel? Um, doesn't cost you anything. There's no subscription fees. There's no obligation on your part. It just really, really does help my channel out no end. So um, yeah, if you can do that for me. That'd be great. Alright, I will see you all next time.